Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier and this is Ship Updates. Now, this week is pretty much all about the Buccaneer. Now, the Buccaneer, of course, was designed by Mr. Jim Martin, as seen here. Now, of course, Jim Martin is no stranger to Star Citizen. We've seen his work before. Original Cutlass, Original Caterpillar, both his designs. Also, the Herald as well, his design. But he's also responsible for one of my favorite ships of all time. Any other ships make it? No, sir. Now, of course, we are talking about the Buccaneer, and here's the Buccaneer, the original Buccaneer concept, as sold to the community. Now, of course, you got the two size twos underslung under the cockpit. You got two more size twos just on the outside of the engine pods, and then you got the two size ones all the way out on the ends of the wings, which, <laughs> it, you know, I could make an entire video, and I may make a video on this in the future, but... You know, those guns might as well just not even be there. But the two size twos underneath, um, that is part of a that was part of an original larger mounting that could mount up to a size four. And the logic as it was presented to us was it can fit one size four, you know, or one size three, or you could fit because you know it was originally a size four mount, you could fit dual size twos on there. Now, the next logical question that I would like to ask is, does that mean you could fit quad size ones? Could you get a quad mount underneath for size ones? Because that would be pretty amazing. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think we've ever gotten a concrete answer on that question. Now, specific to this ship, when the original concept came out last year, I had argued that the two size ones at the ends of the wing should either be moved into a dual mount over the cockpit or into the wing roots on either side of the cockpit. But unfortunately, it seems that CIG had a different idea for the top of this ship. It seems that the gun mount that was underneath the ship has now been moved here to the top of the ship. Now, also absent in this uh, video is the underslung missile pods uh, in between the, uh, you know, the engine nacelles and the main body of the fuselage there. Now, one of the reasons why the size two guns were on either side of the engine was to allow for those missile pods to exist in between the uh, engine pods and the main fuselage of the ship. Now, here again, you can see that they're not there at all in any way shape or form now here you can see you know one of the original concept art Im images of the drake buccaneer kind of outlining the fact that it was something of a flying arsenal and the missile pods are you know absent now in the video they state that the ship is in the advanced gray boxing phase so i'm going to go ahead and say that they probably just omitted the missile pods because they weren't ready to put the missile pods on the ship yet or that asset hadn't been totally finalized and what they were using to fly around and to basically test things didn't require that every little piece be attached to the ship so I don't think it's you know it's panic time yet but I think it's not like um, it's not like some kind of a deception it's just I think the missile pods just aren't ready yet it I don't think you know that they took them away yeah so you know that would be like a pretty huge omission to make I mean that would be like selling a fighter as a two-seater for two years and then constantly during those two years reassuring people that it was in fact still a two-seater and then once it got released as flight ready to say you know oh whoops sorry <laughs> it, it's a one-seater we forgot about the second seat but you know that never happens now there's a couple of other pieces of news that came out but I mean everything more or less came from ATV this week 
Um, and that was, of course, we got a little bit uh, more of a preview of the Cutlass Black here and the updated model of the Super Hornet, which hopefully should, at least the Super Hornet, should be making it in for 261, hopefully. Now, beyond that, we still don't have an answer as far as anywhere that I've seen that uh, as to what large ships are being worked on in the UK right now. So we still don't have an answer to that question. Hopefully soon we're going to get it, but probably not until they have something to show us or until we get another ATV with uh, a segment from the UK, which I believe would be next up in the rotation, either the UK or Frankfurt. So hopefully in the next two weeks, maybe we'll get something uh, along those lines. But uh, until then, you know, it's Star Citizen. You just have to be patient. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And thanks for watching. Bottom travel initiated. <laughs>